down. Now Jaleesa George pushes it up. Kicking it out. Dobbs to Zimmerman, Aaron Zimmerman the three. I like that, first three shots. It's a man-to-man -man defense like this, not a lot of size on Bucknell where American could attack easily. Backing it down, off balance hook shot at Stephanie Anya, five nothing Eagles. Good for American. George. Now Jaleesa George gets the scream from Fogg. Jump shot goes, Jaleesa George off the screen. From has to make sure that can't grow because smart decision by Coach Corkery putting uh, Sarah Kiley in. Of course, the way that Bucknell's playing, you're surprised the Bison aren't in the lead. Sarah Kylie, you give her the three, she'll take it all. Oh. Dari Booth, Booth drives with the left, kicks out. Sarah Kylie makes the extra pass, and it's gonna be Alexis Dobbs who hits the three. It almost looks too easy. That's the extra pass that it will do to the Eagles. Now Jaleesa George feeds it in Anya. Stephanie Anya off the glass and good. Solid drop step from the senior. Won't get it to go. Ball moving the other way. This is fast basketball. Alexis Dobbs, pass fake, layup, good. Nice job right there. Is it surprising it's the first transition? Yep. As Michelle Holmes enters the game. She's someone that can get some rebounds for you. Screen from Holmes springs Jaleesa George, who will get over to Dobbs. It's Ari Booth, who will flip one in. Ooh. There we go, that's her first. 15 on the clock, gets the screen as Jaleesa George shoots through it. Little underhand Ooh. scoop, oh, that looked too good. Jaleesa George, eight on the clock, trying to get one last shot. Here it is, T.A.J. McGeorge to three. Oh, T.A.J. McGeorge, so three. Eagles make out well right there. Eagles doubling up, but now it's 30-15 going into halftime. Great way to end the first half. Uh, overall, good basketball for the Eagles. Not the prettiest. Dobbs, but it'll she'll find Zimmerman who gets it back to Dobbs. Dobbs invites, goes in, invites the contact and gets the bucket, 32-15. 13, it was once 15 at half. And it'll be 15 again as Alexis Dobbs makes the long. 13, it was once 15 at half. And it'll be 15 again as Alexis Dobbs makes the long. And Jaleesa George with four on the shot clock. Scoop shot, that's one for the mixtape. Little uh, Sam Perkins action. Soft. She'll miss the second. And gets the offensive rebound, throws it off the glass and good. Well, there's your two points that she missed at the foul line. She'll get it back. Lead. And it's only a matter of how far this losing, how bad they want this losing streak to end. And I don't think at least Jaleesa George wants another loss. Because if Bucknell will be able to at least make two of those threes, they're 0 of 6. As you see, Sarah Kylie sort of what could be the dagger. Matt Corkery wins game number 100. And uh, not the fastest to do it, perhaps not even the second fastest to do it, but he did it in a very impressive manner. He's, he's won a few regular season titles for the Patriot, for the Eagles, and even though he's not set up to win one this year, you know, they won it last year, didn't make the tournament. This could be, this could be the year. This could not have come at a more important time to snap that win because now the only Eagles only have one game left. Corkery, who becomes the third coach in American University women's basketball history to reach 100 wins for his career. Congratulations to Coach Corkery. Fans, don't forget to get your tickets to this Saturday's women's basketball regular season. You know, it feels nice. It's uh, definitely you know, when you're involved in the sport of basketball, it's a team sport, you know, so the first thing I think about um, are the other teams, I've, the teams I've had a chance to coach here, um, you know, how hard some of those teams really work to be successful, you know, I think about um, really that because I haven't, you know, we don't, I don't shoot, you know, good teams win games, players win games. Um, so that's really what that's about to me. It's a, really a team effort. Um, so I think it's uh, it's a it's a great accomplishment. But really, I'd like for people to focus more on what it means for our program and how it speaks to our to our basketball program, all the players who have played here, um, and all the teams that we've had here the last four or five years, rather than just something that is about you know one person. So that's the way I look at it.
Definitely. I mean, it's something that, you know, as a coach, is playing for a coach, and you work hard every day. But I think people forget that he works hard every day, too, and it's something that he deserves. And it's something that um, we work hard to win as a team, but it's definitely a great accomplishment. And to, for him to be recognized and, you know, pull off that in such a short time, it's amazing. And I think, you know, it goes to show his hard work and what he does for us in the, during the season and on the off season. He doesn't stop working. And I think that really shows by his, the record and the congratulations and everything. And it was nice to get it at home. Yeah, it was good. Uh, you know, we had, I, I was uh, excited that we came in early and, and, and took some momentum early, played well. I was really excited with how we defended, you know, in the first half. Um, you know, held them to 19%. And we did a pretty good job rebounding the ball. Um, you know, so to kind of establish ourselves defensively early uh, was really something we were wanting to do and focused in on. We ran some pretty good offense. We didn't shoot it too bad. We took care of the ball. So, yeah, it was good. Um, it feels great, but there's still a lot we can take from this game that we need to do better for, especially with Lafayette coming up, and they're a very tall team. So it's a lot we need to work on. Yeah, it feels good. It's definitely a, a building process, and you know it's not over yet. And we have uh, the last three games to look forward to at the end of the season that really matter. So it's just getting better from here on, and the win definitely helps, though. Yeah, Gigi was really big. I thought, you know, I told her after the game she had a lot of bounce. You know, um, early in the game, you could tell, you know, she was ready to roll, and uh, you know, so I was proud for her. Um, made good decisions. You know, she was aggressive, looking for a shot. And I thought she defended well, you know, also, um, you know, throughout the game, played a little bit of one um, and helped us out there. So, uh, yeah, you know, G is, uh, G is one of the best players in the league, and I think she proved that today. Um, I just knew that with Jen out that I needed to have a more aggressive mindset and just take the shots as they were coming. Um, Lex does a great job of running the offense and getting her teammates open shots. So it's great to have her as a point guard.